Before we begin, make sure you have all corresponding parts. The skull contains over 20 various pieces when disassembled. Let's begin. Step 1. Separate the mandible, the upper teeth and nasal cavity, and the top of the skull into three pieces. Step 2. Starting with the top of the skull, remove the small orange colored vomer first, followed by the blue frontal bone and the red sphenoid bone. Next, the temporal bones come off the side which leaves just the parietal and occipital bones. All done! Step 3. Start with both orange zygomatic bones, and then the white ethmoid bone inside. Next, pull apart the maxilla, which have identical parts. The nasal bone removes first, followed by the yellow lacrimal bone, the brown inferior nasal concha, and finally the light blue palatine bone. Repeat for the other side. Now let's assemble the skull. Step four. Start with the upper teeth and nasal cavity. Insert the light blue palatine bone into the peg found on the maxilla. Next is the inferior nasal concha bone which has both a peg and a hole for the clear peg to slide through. The nasal bone also slots in via a peg and a clear peg. Same for the yellow lacrimal bone. When both sides are done, snap the teeth back together. The white ethmoid bone slots in at the top, while the zygomatic bones attach at the side. There is a small magnet on each piece to help it adhere into place. Step 5. The upper skull starts with two green parietal bones connecting to the occipital bone. Then, attach the blue frontal bone to the red sphenoid bone. The clear plastic pegs should be facing away or outward. The brown temporal bones then attach to the sides of the skull. Again, the clear plastic pegs should be facing outward or away. Finally, attach the front of the skull to the back, adding in the vomer last back to the center. Step six, attach the nasal cavity and teeth back to the frontal bone. There are a few pegs and clear pegs that insert here. Finally, add the mandible and teeth. There are magnets once again that help it slot into place. Once assembled, you can reference your Axis Scientific Product Manual for further details. And you're done! Thank you for your purchase!